Hey, Chris Jenkins, man of the people. Standing by the man of the people, because this guy, I mean, you supposed to sign an autograph or something? What were you just yeah, doing? I, I always stay after practice to sign well, autographs. Hold the mic up just a little bit more. You always say yeah. after practice? Yeah, always. Usually when they say rookies got to sign autographs, we're going to sign. But okay. the fans were over there screaming my name, so I just had to go over there and sign a few autographs. So, okay. Yeah. Appreciate it. What, what is your post-practice routine? Because you seem like you got one. What is it? Yeah, so I always work the ladders first. Um, I have a trainer out in Colorado. We always end training off with, a, with some ladders. So I kind of just kept that routine here, start the ladders off, and then I get some press man fo footwork, and then I get some off man footwork, and I kind of end it there. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now, now we're going to get on with the schedule questions because I know we've got about five minutes. want to get you out of this heat. I'd like to start back. Growing up, man, what was your biggest influences on and off the field? Uh, my biggest influence on the field had to have been uh, my youth football coaches. Uh, I played for the Park Hill Pirates out in Colorado. And, you know, on the field, they kind of just developed me fundamentally, you know, in the game. And off the field, it had to have been my parents. Uh, mm -hmm. My parents, my older cousins, those who also was a part of the sport, influenced by the sport. Um, so, yeah, I would have to say those were my, my influences on and off the field. How many siblings we got? Uh, I have a lot of siblings. You do? I have, yeah, I have eight siblings. So, eight? Yeah, I have eight siblings. So, uh, you know, I have step siblings. Yeah. Um, you know, I have brothers, a lot of brothers. I have uh, three sisters, and I have five brothers. Okay. Yeah. Just so. a little bit of a big family. Yeah. We've we'll, we got more questions. We'll save them for later, how y'all get around with so many people. But any hobbies off the field that people don't know too much about that you enjoy? Man, uh, I like to play video games. Okay. Um, I'm a big swimmer as well. Uh, swimmer? Yeah, being from Denver, you kind of got to know how to swim. Like the um, pool swimming or going out into the ocean? Nah, pool swimming. Okay. I do know how to swim in the ocean. I've been to Hawaii too, so, you know, just swimming in that ocean, that was... I was different, but I'm a big swimmer. I play video games, uh, and that's really it. So you're on the, uh, the college game right now. What's your, what game are you on? Ah, uh, man, I, I play a lot of Warzone. Okay. I want to say okay. I'm elite at Warzone. I'm not no phase optic, but I do play Warzone. I play Madden. Uh, I stopped playing 2K. 2K was it was kind of cheating me. So you know, okay, okay, 2K. okay. Yeah. No 2K. Yeah. How how would your, your your teammates describe you in that locker room? How would they describe you? I think they'll say locked in, like. I'm a rookie that came in and was was tenacious mm -hmm. right off back. Um, very eager to learn the playbook. Very eager to get out and translate the technique to the field. So I would say those. So as you learn your position, has there been anybody else in that cornerback room that you might say like has developed like a big brother mentality, to bring you in and groom you? Yeah, definitely. Um, first, I have to I have to start out with Coach D Hall. Um, Coach Cooley, you yeah. know, those guys get the material to us and they, they do a good job of making sure we understand the material and, and be able to translate it onto the field. But mm -hmm. if we're saying from a player standpoint, mm -hmm. I would have to say a lot of the older guys, um, you know, you got JC, you got Lamar Jack, uh, Boot, uh, Jamie, uh, Jameson, Boodle, I mean, Jameson, um, um, uh, Jamo, Jamo, yeah, right, right. Jamo. Uh, so yeah, a lot of those guys. Have you, have you had your welcome to the NFL moment yet as a rookie? Yeah, it actually happened in minicamp. Um, I was guarding Alan Thielen, and he ran he like a, a whip, a whip wheel, uh -huh. where he stemmed me outside, broke inside, but then he ended up breaking me back outside. He had tons, Bryce Young had tons of time to throw the ball. So, <laughs> Want to add that, you know, right? He, he had time. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't a normal, it wasn't 2.7 seconds. Nah, it wasn't. For <laughs> sure. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I would have to say that was my weapon to the league moment. Okay. Yeah. What, what has this training camp experience been like for you so far? I know we had a few different unique experiences where we had the uh, back together at the stadium here in Charlotte. Yeah. And just the other day we were down in Clemson. What have, what's this whole experience been like for you? It's really been fun. Yeah. Um, just being able to, to come out here and practice with vets, mm -hmm. being able to practice with guys who were once stars on their teams in college, um, and just being able to be in the league and soak it all up. Um, it's also been, you know, work, just making sure that I stay, stay on the course, stay on the path to also becoming one of those great guys uh, to come out of college and, and ball out in the league. So it's been definitely with some of those moments. Okay, I'm, we're about to wrap up here, but I got a football question. Once that ball is in the air, walk me through what's in your mind and how you plan that. Yeah, so I had a good coach out of college teach me how to read the ball when it's in the air. So you want to look at the tip of the ball. If it's pointing up, that means it's just going to keep going. If it starts pointing down, then that means that it's going to fall down to where you are. So if you read that tip of the ball, it's going to tell you the right answer nine times out of ten. Okay. Yeah. We hope this don't happen much at all, but every DB has to have a short-term memory from a big play potentially. So how do you – have you gotten that down for how you process when something like that may happen to you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, it, 
it actually depends on what it is, you know, what has happened. Mm -hmm. uh, but as a DB, you got to be able to assess and reassess. So, right. you know, I'm, I'm going to assess what happened, where, where did I go wrong, what can I fix, and then I'm going to reassess it on the next play. Okay. Hey, yeah. man, good luck to you. Appreciate you. Yeah. Appreciate him stopping by. We'll continue to do these rookie series. Shaw Smith, I had to think about it, but he said it, so now I got it locked in. I'm Chris Jenkins for Charlotte Vibe. Thank you guys for watching. Yes, sir.